Now, if single source Tacitus is to be believed, Nero's sole motivation in persecuting Christians was that he was blaming them for a fire that he himself set. Those perceived to be leaders of the movement would definitely not be afforded any chance to say anything at all, lest they expose his duplicity. Pelagian might say we don't know if Nero offered the same things as Trajan did. It's way worse. We know he had every reason not to. But given that we at least have one example of Christians being allowed to recant, and no similar examples of indiscriminate extermination, or people not being allowed to recant, this tips the scale towards Nero having a similar policy to Trajan. That's just ignoring context entirely. Beyond the glaringly obvious fact that Nero's persecutions were not ideological. If a recant clause had already been standard Roman policy, then there would have been no reason at all for Pliny to write the emperor and ask what the policy should be. 